All right, guys, Spacey here. I'm up bright and early in the morning, trying to make sure I have enough light for this video, and it's not way too hot for me to be outside. Um, please, uh, if you would like me to type you, feel free to hit me up. I'm gonna put my information in the video description. If you have any questions or anything interesting you wanna to talk to me about, that's cool. Um, you know, please don't come at me with, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm an INFP or an ISFP. Please help me out for free via email. Please don't do that. Number one, I can't type you via email. And number two, I'm trying to run a business here because I'm extremely, extremely broke. I'm about to move back to New York because I can't hack it here right now in L.A., and I'm gonna be getting a real job because I'll have to and I'll finally be able to. Um, but I would like to be able to keep doing this more of the time because it's what I'm good at. So anyway, FE and FI. All right, FE is the function that wins friends and influences people because they're able to track and manage the perceptions of all of the people around them. Uh, right, they you then use those perceptions to, you know, essentially uh, manipulate people around them into kind of a more cohesive whole. I mean, it can be done selfishly for the FE user's own ends, but, you know, most healthy FE users actually get a lot of satisfaction out of successfully using FE to manage people's perceptions to make the whole environment better like they want they want harmony because it gives them this really satisfactory resonance that okay like i successfully manage the fe system for right the benefit of everybody because a lot of the time the only benefit an fe user wants like an esfj especially is for everybody to be happy because then they're happy that's because FE users, um, part, I mean, especially in the first slot is where you're going to see this. Uh, they don't really know how to feel that much without the other people around them kind of letting them know. So they're basically, they're kind of pinging, like, how should I feel? How should I feel? And they're going to look to all the people around them. And if everyone around them is looking sad, then it's like, oh shit, something bad happened. I really shouldn't act happy right now because that would break the, the harmony, sort of. So I should try to like commiserate with these people, right? Share in their, you know, uh, emotional expression and perhaps try to cheer them up a little bit, you know, make a few jokes. Uh, give them some coffee or some snacks, you know, that kind of stuff. And with FE, you're going to want people to make you feel better when you're down and stuff. Like, and you're going to want to listen to happy music when you're sad to cheer you up. You're, you're much more susceptible to having your emotions influenced by outside sources. Uh, so in that sense... FE users can be a little bit more resilient to stuff like like long-term depression and stuff like that I've found because their emotions are much more susceptible to changing moment to moment. Um, if you have FE in a lower slot, like maybe third or fourth, um, you're going to find yourself being like probably really self-conscious maybe about what other people think of you. You're always going to be like you know, kind of paranoid about, you know, are they, are they making fun of me? Like, what do they think of me? I bet they don't like me. Or or you're constantly going to be looking to see, okay, did, did that joke I made, did people think it was funny? Did it go over well? Yeah, and and so, if you're, if you're kind of perpetually worried about and concerned with the perceptions of other people, then 
you're probably an FE user somewhere in your conscious stack, your first four slots. Now, people with FE higher up are gonna be much better at managing those things and generally more confident, right? And less worried about what people think because they're gonna be much more actively managing what people think, right? You know what people think because you made it that way. Now, I've seen even ISFJs and INFJs, FE in the second slot, who are extremely worried all the time about what other people might think of them. And that happens too. It doesn't mean you're bad with FE, right? If you're focusing all of your attention on it, that it must be high up in, in your stack. And it's you're probably good at it, but you're still just afraid, maybe because you're an introvert who hasn't gotten out much and actually flexed and exercised your tool function enough to build confidence. Uh, you know, I see that with my fiance Tori all the time. She's always like hesitant to contact people in the same way that I am, but once she actually does, it's like 20 minutes later, she's like talking to them about their deepest, darkest secrets and, and their best buddies. And she's having so much fun talking to them because it's so easy for her to steer the conversation the way she wants it to go and, and things like that. And they have a lot of fun successfully engaging their function like that. And it makes them feel accomplished. Um, Effie low in the stack will tend to, especially like four slot for an INTP like me, it'll tend to give you kind of like a social chameleon effect where you're kind of just reflecting everybody's, uh, you know, emotions and mannerisms right back at them. You know, when I hang around a certain group of people, you know, I find myself, you know, if they have an accent, I start talking with a slight accent. If they have certain catchphrases or mannerisms, I'll start to imitate them, like, without even thinking about it, because my fourth slot FE is sort of, like, subconsciously doing this this thing where it's like on a basic fundamental level people feel more comfortable when you're interacting with them in the way that they're accustomed to interacting i guess right it's all about making the other person feel more comfortable by right matching their expressions uh and once i'm able to make people feel comfortable well then they'll actually maybe listen to all of my ti reasoning because they're comfortable around me and they're willing to listen. Uh, let's see, FI, FI is gonna be, uh, you know, the opposite of that in a lot of ways. It's, right, it's an introverted f function. It's not very expressive, right? Most FI DOMs are not going to outwardly look very emotional. And I think this is a, uh, you know, at least if they're uh, somewhat healthy and sane, which admittedly, it's very easy to make an FI dominant or even tool person go insane, it seems like, because they're kind of the most uh, fantasy prone people I've found, especially when paired with extroverted intuition. Like, uh, FI can start thinking about and even believing things it, it's so attached to ideals that it, it can sometimes, uh, they can be easily hurt if they have been attached to certain ideals for so long without testing them in reality or without anybody uh, trying to explain to them that it's, that it's not real. And, and it can be very, very, very painful when they're, you know, FI judged uh, ideals or, um, or, or values are, you know, uh, attacked or, or judged by other people because it, it means a lot to them because those things really are very important. Like, they exist for a reason, right? And without their moralistic and idealistic tendencies, we would probably be societally and, and culturally, you know, stuck in a state 
uh, where it's just the, the law of the jungle, basically. Right? Nobody really cares about the weak or the downtrodden or anything of that nature. Um, but these are, so you can see as I went on that tangent there, that was me kind of trying to suss out some of my own understanding of FI. Kind of in a way, because I'm a TI Dom, I kind of did it in sort of a similar way that you might expect an FI Dom to do it, meaning they spend a lot of time just thinking and thinking and churning through, is this, is this right? Is, is it the right thing? Is it the wrong thing? Do, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do I like it or not? Uh, is, my, is my value system appropriate? Is this something that I should believe in? It's, they're spending a lot of time right, thinking about their feelings and their values and you know, how, how consistent it is with their, their own, you know, filter of, of values and beliefs. And they're trying to match things up so that the way that they live their life is congruent with what they believe to be the, the kind of the, the way of being human that one should strive for. It's kind of about, you know, debugging the human experience, like I mentioned in a, in a previous video. So, bringing things back around, FI people are not outwardly very emotional because they're actually spending all of their time, right, pondering and sifting through all the different little, like, right, feeling tones that they're able to perceive in themselves and in other people. Now... FI users are not necessarily going to be focused on other people at all. It's important to recognize that introverted feeling is not really a social function per se, like extroverted feeling is. Uh, but FI users will be very, very capable of picking apart specific people that they're interested in or specific groups of people that they're interested in. So like if, say, an INFP decides that they uh, care about, I don't know, disabled people, then you'll see them every time, right, they see a disabled person, you're going to see this emotional resonance there, right? They're going to feel very strongly about it. They're going to be like, oh my God, you know, are you okay? Are you being treated right? And it's going to be very dependent on the fact that through their FI, they ended up valuing, right, uh, caring for disabled people other groups of people may actually have very little interest to them, or people that they don't know, or people that they've quickly determined, you know, aren't worth their time, or don't want to be around. Because that's another thing about FI, is it, it's very effective at quickly sizing up people, kind of reading into their essence, basically figuring out in a, in a, in an instant almost, uh, whether that person is like fundamentally a good or a bad person, right, according to their own value matrix. And so I found myself doing that before, even though I have eight slot FI sometimes, and I'm sure there's a little extroverted intuition in there too. I imagine INFPs are the best type at, at reading people that way. Um, um, but anyway, uh, it you'll you'll get this feeling, right? Whether you're you're attracted to or repulsed by something, it seems that's something that I see a lot come up up come up with FI is uh, there seems to be this sense of attraction and repulsion to things of psychological and emotional distance constantly being shifted and maintained and tracked. So. It's kind of just like, does this 